Where have you been? Hmm. I haven't seen you since Houston. I've been on a journey, bro. On a journey across the, the lands of uh, balance and uh, inner ear infections and things like that. Yeah, I had this thing called vertigo. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but it's like, I would not wish it on my worst of worst of enemies. It's like the worst feeling ever. Imagine like um, you're super wasted, but you don't feel good and you're not numb and you're not relaxed and you can't, it's like the, the feeling when you're super, super wasted and the room is spinning and like anything you try and look at just keeps moving. It's like, imagine trying to like focus on something and it's just like, and it, it's, yeah, it's like the worst. You can't even stand up straight. It's like the worst feeling ever. You Does it feel make like, you nauseous? Yeah, you feel like you're going like this. Like I was walking, like, I'd be walking to the bathroom, I'd be like, really? Yeah, dude. Cause you can't, you can't walk straight at all. It was horrible. Did you have someone drive you? No, I drove. Yeah, I drove to the ER. I was like, gotta thug it out. Come on. You gotta thug it out. So I drove to the ER. Um, I didn't know what was going on. Obviously I never had it before, never experienced. But they said it's called BPPV. It's benign something, blah, 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 blah. I think it could happen because like, like uh, if you have an inner infection and like traveling or too much salt or there's tons of like there's, it's weird because they're not like this is exactly what it is or how it happened. It's just like a thing that happens, I guess if you get to that point. But it, like, like a lot of times it's, it's related to like an inner ear issue or infection or something. something. I guess I had that. Um, but yeah, so I went, I went at like four or five in the morning. And then probably spent till like 8 a.m. Like in the yard, they did all these tests. They gave me like a like a head scan and all this stuff. And uh, everything's good. It's just like that. Um, so I feel a lot better now. I think I think though I was I think I had like an ear infection for like probably probably two weeks. And my sinuses were messed up, and I noticed like my balance was off. But when I took I went to plane trip to Houston and came back, that's when like just crap hit the fan. Like I even remember when I was talking to people at Houston. Um, like towards the end of the second day, I was like talking to someone. I felt like I like almost fell over. I was like, "What the hell's going on?" So I left to go like eat some food because I thought it was blood sugar. Um, but I think all this stuff just amounted to that. And uh, if you guys have ever had vertigo, uh, you want some water? It's like the most unpleasant feeling ever. Um, and I think there's like there's certain maneuvers things you can Google, and it did help me like some like an Epple maneuver or something like that. And you like you like. You like lay on the floor or you like sit up on your knees and you like put your head on the floor and you like turn to the side, you turn your head to the side which like your, with like where you get the most uh, like vision blur basically, the, the side that's supposed to be infected in the ear. Um, but that helped because a lot of people were sending me messages because I posted on my Instagram was like, yo, does anyone, has anyone ever had this? Uh, and I got a lot of messages about like, you know, eat ginger, drink more water. Uh, I did all of those things. But what really did help me was like those, uh, those like weird, maneuver things. You guys can Google all that and find it if you want. Um, so yeah, that's it. Now I'm gonna try and train. This is really like my kind of second day back. Yesterday I came in and kind of like just see how I felt. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Let's see how it goes today. This should be great.
Who's gonna win? I got Roddy. Roddy? Seriously? One, two. <laughs> that was a good spot. Uh, was oh, it? God. It's good. That was one handed. That was all you, bro. Strong hand. Damn. How's the um, first day back? Oh, my lips are bleeding? I have a bad habit of picking my lips. I need to stop Why are your lips so damn chapped? I don't know, my lips are, even when I'm super hydrated, my lips are chapped. Um, it's a bad habit. You know, I, have a, I used to have a really bad habit of like doing, picking like a... Uh, oh. Yeah, it was bad. It's like a nervous habit though, that's what it is. You nervous right now? No, it's just, but it, I think it's part of, uh, why are you going so close to my face? I know. I think it's part of the anxiety. Uh, anyways, listen. I actually had a really good workout first time in a long time. Um, so maybe vertigo is the key to like having good workouts. Get yes. vertigo and then work out later. No. Just kidding. Don't do that. Now I want to show you guys something. Similar to that movement there. <laughs> it is. But this is what um, everyone was sending me messages. Go on YouTube, look at this video, watch this, maneuver this thing, like go to PT, they'll do this thing, go do this, they'll do that thing. Um, you know, drink more water, eat less salt, have some ginger. I tried all that stuff, okay? Now, this is one thing that like gave me somewhat like uh, immediate, like actual relief. I want you guys to try this. If you ever run into, because it literally is like the worst feeling I've ever had in my life, hands down. It was, like, I've had really bad anxiety. I've felt depression like I know what those things feel like um, this is new this is so new like when it was happening to me I was like oh for sure I'm dying like this is death because like it felt like nothing else that I experienced before it was so new um, like I said it's like being super drunk but not feeling good at all and not like like you can't you're just like you, you can't balance yourself basically the equilibrium is all messed up so like there's these crystals or some things in your ears or something that like they get like stuck or they go to the wrong place and they throw your balance off um, something with calcium buildup and it not like being like dispersed properly something like that. I don't know enough about it but I know from what I do know that there's certain movements that like make it go around and move um, and this was the one so this you hold each position for 30 seconds this is what I did it looks really funny okay? all right it looks really funny so <laughs> imagine me like going like this Oh. Yeah. Uh, and then being like, like watching a YouTube video and being like. So you look to the side that you think you have the infection. You're going to try both sides anyways. Um, my side was this side. So I would go down. You start here. You come down. And you hold it for 30 seconds. Yeah. And then you'll notice after like 30, 40 seconds, it starts to kind of like your distortion starts to go away. And then you come back up like this, which is also super weird. So imagine me in my living room doing this. The idea is like you're making these crystals like go back into a certain position. And then so that's like another 30, 40 seconds. And then you're up here. Straight forward for like another 30, 40 seconds. And I did it like four or five times each side. Um, and I started to feel a little bit better. But you have to count. Don't be like one, two, 30. Like you have to count just like you would like a normal stretch. Um, one, two, 30. You know, people like they go like 30 seconds on one side and like 20 seconds on the other because yeah. they want to be done with it. But you actually got to do it because it's like there's like a period of like this stuff going like this to like settle or something in your ear. Yeah. Again, I don't know all about it. But I know from like feeling like complete ass to feeling like 
70 percent it helped yeah from feeling like zero to like 70 percent so it helped a lot so give it a try if you guys ever experienced vertigo it's easily one of the worst things i've ever felt in my whole life um and i'm sorry people deal with it like if people were saying you know i deal with it like at least as many times a year i hope what? that doesn't happen i don't think it's going to um but people were saying that like oh my dad's had this for so long and and i my, my honestly my heart goes out to those people because it is fucking horrible i don't wish that i'm my worst enemy not that i have any enemies but it's it's a really bad thing try that out i think it's called like epley maneuver there's like a bunch of different people on doing it like they, they named it after themselves obviously on youtube and uh it works it's something with a balance in your ear if if it's caused by bppv or something i think there's other more serious versions of it like where you have like actual disease like menaces disease i don't even know how to but it depends what's causing it um but give that a shot if you're actually experiencing it. Like while you're experiencing it, it, it does actually help a lot. It helped me. So I love you guys. Again, I'm not a scientist. Don't say what I'm, don't, don't take what I'm saying for like facts, cause it's not. Um, you should probably, if you like really serious, like should, I went to the ER, like straight up went to the ER cause I was like, I'm fucking dying. Um, which is like my normal go-to, probably spent like, cause I don't have health coverage, probably spent like six grand. Got like a head scan, all kinds of stuff, but I feel good now and I'm like, whatever man, peace of mind's worth it, so. Go see a doctor if you have to. I love you guys. I'm out. Um, yeah, that's it. Subscribe to the channel.